Uh, back in Illinois now with the task force that Jeff had talked about earlier, uh, one of the things that we realized after we started doing our research, we gathered a lot of information from other states, is that actually Illinois was a little bit ahead of the curve on this. Mm -hmm. And in the last five to ten years, uh, we have uh, put into law a safety drill act for school. And it's been uh, actually very, very successful. Uh, and it requires every district to have a plan. It requires the district to have a school security officer. It requires the district to sit down with their local responders at least once a year, go through the plan, let the local responders uh, look for deficiencies in the plan and so forth. So, again, what, what we found in our research is that we, we probably really don't need to change the law in this regard, which is what Jeff had alluded to earlier, but it might be time to go back and do a little more education for the school personnel and for the local responders, because I don't know if, if they all uh, you know, know exactly the nuts and bolts of how that is supposed to work. The other thing they've done in Illinois, uh, back to our previous conversation, is we have in the last, again, five to ten years, uh, passed new laws that requires instruction in schools uh, on depression, suicide awareness, bullying, conflict resolution. All those things now are in place in Illinois, and several of those also requires uh, the teachers to get trained in those. So uh, we hope we're making some strides there, and as I hear the conversation, that it'll make me feel a little better, I think. We've done some things right now. Yeah.